Why do you love the sketches? Wow, uh, what a question. I would say I really love the vibe of the group as a whole and uh, the emphasis on professionalism. The sketches aren't just a comedy group. We're a family. A dysfunctional family. But, okay. The sketches are a truly special group. You know, like, even if we pick a member who isn't as good um, like last semester, like, we still have so much fun, you know? It's really fun to see the composition of the group change. This year we've had two new incredible members, Matt Callum and, uh, and the other one. <laughs> I, I'm really excited to work more with Matt Callum. Alex is an interesting group member. Um, do you really like to think that the selection process for the statues is uh, good enough so that we never have any regrets? But, um, <laughs> Alex is an interesting group member.
a physical therapist, a Wisconsinite, and a single mother, and I'm here to tell you that women can have it all. Nice to meet ya. I'm Jenna. I'm a middle school counselor, an amateur mountain biker, and a mom to four beautiful little boys. I'm here to say women can have it all. <laughs> Mimi here. I'm a data analyst, a hip-hop artist, and a proud mother of gender-fluid triplets. I'm here to say women can have it all. Hi there. I'm Maggie. I'm a paralegal, a burgeoning playwright, and a gluten-free baker. <laughs> No, no, no. No. I just. Uh, now's not a great time for me. Now's not a great time for any of us, Maggie. <laughs> yeah, we're all busy, Maggie. Okay, well, I just feel like I don't have time to balance that oh, with my no, no, career. No, no, no. It's a sensational time for women. Women can have it all right now, Maggie. <laughs> Alright, well, I feel like I do have it all. I mean, um, I just got a raise at the firm, and my play was produced in an off Broadway festival, so I'm actually really happy. And right who now. in your life can you share your joy with, Maggie? <laughs> well, my sister and I are Maggie, really Maggie, close. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. You don't have to limit yourself anymore, <laughs> Maggie. Maggie, you can be a mother and a first rate business professional. Haven't you read Cheryl Sandberg's Lean? <laughs> oh, no. oh, you have a red Lena. You, I got to read Lena. <laughs> Cheryl is a CEO, a best selling author, and a mother of two. I'll say it, Lena may very well be the book of the century. Oh, I'll say it. Lena taught me that I was in love and be loved in return. Okay, I'll say it. I didn't know the capacity it was at for emotion until I read CEO. Through my linens and pillows as I lay in bed, and never open my eyes. 
I suppose. Well, I would bang the two girls, obviously. <laughs> and then, I suppose, I'd have to fuck Ryan Gosling really, really hard. <laughs> I googled it. <laughs> so, in conclusion, I'm not Klein and not gay, alright? I don't like dick, I just like fucking pussy. <laughs> so that's why I'm starting this campaign. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, how about this one? Um, never have I ever had sex in public. Buried my own child. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> did you do that? Yeah, didn't your kid die? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 horrible congenital <laughs> I would like to take a cure, but it already advanced so much it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have a and some medicine and prayer, but none of it hurt. Yeah, did you have quite a funeral for your own kid? Yeah, yeah. Did you have to write a eulogy for your own fucking kid? <laughs> yeah, Janice, I'm pretty sure that happened to you. <laughs> Bubby would never admit to eat to a restaurant. <laughs> 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 
Your girlfriend's on her period, and she's got those damn cramps. What does she need? Uh, oh, that's easy. Uh, two Advil, and you can pass. Johnny boy, that is correct! A anti would never talk about that dirty stuff in front of her man. Looks like we might be sending her back on home to Ripko with a pocket full of gallons. <laughs> Okay, our second question is also for you. Okay, it is your birthday, but there is a one-day super sale at Nordstrom. <laughs> uh, my, my girlfriend would probably go shopping, but I, I totally understand the rarity of that occasion. Well, you know, that is correct. Where else is a daughter of Yahweh going to... <laughs> Where else is a daughter of Yahweh going to find her future mother's Hanukkah gift? <laughs> Extremely dewy answers you have just given, which qualifies you for our lightning round. And gird, gird your uncut loins because we have a very special guest with us today, your girlfriend. Oh, you're so right, sorry. All right, the rules of the lightning round are simple. I'm going to ask Liz here a number of rapid fire questions. She is going to have to answer them as truthfully and quickly as possible. Liz, are you ready? Yes, Abraham. And where were you born? Westchester. <laughs> Westside Soccer. Uh, what's your opinion on smoked salmon? Nova Scotia or Atlantic. How much do you like on a bagel? Just a schmear.
Senator Owens' first official press conference. And now I'll ask that you welcome Senator Owens to the stand. Very pleased and impressed to see such an impressive crowd of journalists. Uh, let's get started. Senator, Senator, Senator. Hi, Senator. At a recent fundraising dinner, you mentioned to constituents that you like to eat your own hair for pleasure. <laughs> now, many of you take these statements for their unprofessional and, quite frankly, bizarre nature. Did you get a comment? I did not make that statement, so no, I did not. Next question. Senator, 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 Senator. Senator, you recorded a saying when you eat your yummy, yummy locks, it slides right down into your puke little tum tum. <laughs> I do not recall those remarks. Next question. Senator, 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 Senator. Hello, Senator. I was wondering if you could elaborate on your statement that shampoo is the balsamic vinaigrette right to your hair salad. <laughs> All of these quotes are alleged. I would love it if even one person could show me proof. I actually have an audio recording for that evening, and I'm happy to play now. I guess what's best about nibbling on my strands is that there's essentially a constant supply of it. I don't mean to brag, but I grow a lickety split. <laughs> More for the tasting. What? What? Have you ever tried it? It tastes good. I personally prefer a real thick glob of carrot to slide down the go. Okay. I also gave a speech on health care at that dinner, but no one seems to want to bring that. I actually have video footage from that speech that I'm happy to play. Oh, I, don't, I don't know if we need to do that. <laughs> If you fall ill at your place of work, you should be able to take the necessary amount of time off work to care for yourself. I know that sometimes when I nibble on my sugar block, I start my teensy weensy curl, and then I need to go to the doc to suck it right out. And sometimes, doc even lets me look at the big old hair ball. It's easy, yum, yum, yum. Oh, oh my god, get over yourself, why don't you? Just drag it out of the game. It'll totally change your perspective. Look, okay, I'll, I'll show you right here, right now. <laughs> if that is me in the video, then I apologize for the disturbing content. If that is me who said that, which, you know, I'm not sure it was. It so. was. Okay, right, time for one more question. Uh, Senator, 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 yes, Senator, can you please give us your opinion on the infrastructure of our public schools? Great question. You know, I, I think that what we have to be thinking about, uh, uh, with reference to education, uh, Senator, uh, the schools here, they're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, feels so good. <laughs> major period of success here at Disney. However, I think it's time we start thinking about how we want our brand to be viewed in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm, of course, referring to our controversial decision of including gay characters in our latest film, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> While I do concede that this may affect profits in the short term, that can actually benefit Disney in the long run. Of course, as the board of directors, you all have just as much power as I in making the final decision. Yes, well, uh, Bob, I think it's a real power move, to be honest. I mean, imagine one of these gay kids coming to the movie and seeing themselves depicted on the screen. They'd be for Disney for life, if you know what I'm talking about. Absolutely, John. So my only concern is with, as you mentioned, the short term. I'd like to do some screen tests and see the general reception for uh, releasing the fun. Sure, sure. Mmm, sure. sure. gay characters! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> to remember that these will only be side characters, not the main focus of the film. Indeed, indeed. Only one scene with butt stuff. Yes, yes! <laughs> Interesting idea, Excel, but I was thinking we would just start with a kiss. A kiss of the rear! Bye-bye. 
I can fill the book now. This, this is completely absurd. But you've done now, Davis, and you've upset him again. <laughs> Gossip girl here. You're wonderfully so 
source to the scandalous lives in Manhattan's elite. Spotted, Celeste Vanderbilt and her longtime beau, Reginald Hastings, suddenly <laughs> references over a glass of Dom Perignon. Let's see what happens next. Stay tuned, bitches. <laughs> It feels so good to have everything back to normal, doesn't it? It really does. It means so much to me that you stood by me during these hard times. What with my family losing our third home in Palm Springs, <laughs> my poor five-year-old sister's drug problem. <laughs> None of that matters now. All that matters is that it's behind us and the future looks better than ever. Reginald, what the hell is going on here? My stepfather's ex-mistress, Rosalina von Snoot? <laughs> Boyfriend. Reginald, is there something I should know about you and Rosalina? If by something you mean we're in love and he told me he was going to dump you for me! Celeste, I can explain. When my mother fell off her prized dressage horse, <laughs> Rosalina was there for- No explanation necessary! We're done here. Well, well, well. <laughs> what have we here? Alice Stair Cornwall. <laughs> you since you slept with my mother's twin twin sister. <laughs> I'm back. I have been for weeks or hasn't Celeste told you? Celeste. <laughs> you knew all this. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Have you been sleeping? I I thought we were forever. Ever since we used to race our nannies in preschool. <laughs>